Another day and another wave of migrants making landfall in the Florida Keys. Local 10 News was there as a convoy of state law enforcement officers joined federal agents to try to stop the surge. Local 10's Janine Stanwood is live now on Duck Key to show us once again, Janine. Calvin, agencies working together, that is nothing new. But if you've been in the Florida Keys over the last few days, you have certainly seen an influx. We were right there as a group of law enforcement dealt with yet another migrant landing right here on Duck Key. A convoy of state and federal law enforcement heading to reports of stranded migrants near Duck Key. Soon, Florida Fish and Wildlife officers bring in the first group of migrants they rescue. Other law enforcement boats, including CBP's Air and Marine operations, transporting even more. This is the migrants' homemade vessel that ran aground near some mangrove islands. They say their prop broke during the journey here and was fixed out at sea. Tranquilo, no, no te vamos a la foto. The group is interviewed. <laughs> this agent brings water. Okay, nada más. At one point, a medic checks this man's eyes and makes sure he's okay before the group is eventually taken into custody. Migrant landings are happening daily, like this one just a few miles south. And it's another day of stepped up enforcement in the Florida Keys following an unprecedented surge of migration from Cuba and Haiti. Offshore, U.S. Coast Guard cutters, boats, and aircraft from other agencies patrolling the waters. On land, we're told the deployments here are likely to continue. In fact, the National Guard already has aircraft here in the Florida Keys, but we're told that they will be bringing ground troops in over the next couple of days. The question is, will this deter people from making these extremely dangerous sea voyages to the Florida Keys? The county mayor here in Monroe County says he hopes that's the case. We're in Duck Key. I'm Janine Stanwood, Local 10 News. Let's keep our fingers crossed. Okay, thanks a lot, Janine. And for much more on this developing story, go right down to Local10.com. And for extensive coverage in Spanish, go to Local10.com in Espanol. It is easy to remember. Log on to Local10.com forward slash Espanol. We will find, you will find complete coverage right there.